really it's about Gabber. It's about Gabber. Gabber, Gabber. And for those of you who don't know what Gabber is, I wish, I wish I had a little screen back here that displayed my screen so I could click on things and show you guys and we could have a little history lesson and we could talk about Gabber because that's really all I want to talk about when it comes down to it. But essentially a Gabber kick is this thing, a real distorted kick, it's super strong, super powerful. A lot of people make it go. And just sort of do that for a while. Um, but then other people are punks and they do things that make a lot less sense and it goes real sloppy and weird and crazy. But it's all about the enthusiasm at that point. It's all about the energy and the connectivity and the sincerity and the passion. That's what punk's about and that's what Gabber can be about. That's where we take those big electronic kicks, those things going and we take that ethos, that energy, that DIY aesthetic and spirit. DIY says the person with the fucking MacBook. <laughs> but anyway, we take that aesthetic because all the programs, the programs are torrented so I'm still punk. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it's about the aesthetic. Punk is about the sincerity and the feeling and taking something and cultivating and making it our own and really letting it be a source of identity and expression to the utmost, to the extremes. So we take those extreme kicks, we take that extreme mentality and we fuse them together and what do we got? Gabber Punk. So this song's called Gabber Punk. Girl, thank you very much. My name is Travis for you who just got here. This accent title Wadamu. Thank you for coming out and sticking around and promote on a beautiful Sunday evening. <laughs>
how about how about that uh, stuff? How about those things and stuff and stocks and bonds and 401ks? Haha, <laughs> because that's what punk's all about, right? Just kidding. All right, so this this song this song is called The Great Social Reflexes. Oh, it's been a grip since I've hit this one. Oh boy, it's been a grip. Who I should probably mention. I make music. As you may have noticed or may have not noticed, I really don't know. I guess it also sort of depends on your definition of music. But by the classical definition of uh, music, I make music. Oh boy, and, and I record it, and it's fun, and uh, I release it online, and some people download it, and that's cool of them, and I'm glad that they like it. Um, but you can be those people that download my music and enjoy it. What you can't be, unfortunately, is a person who leaves here today with a CD of my own because I got hella cheap airline tickets, but I didn't really get a chance to grab a carry-on because that would have doubled my ticket cost. But the good news is if any of you are interested in what I'm doing, if any of you are here tonight, which I think all of you are, y'all look like you're here, it's real cool. Uh, if y'all are here and you have any interest, I'm gonna post a link to my merch on the event page, all right? I'm gonna do that, and if you guys order any of it, I will give you guys, if you order a shirt, I'll throw in a CD, free shipping. The CD, the digital version is free to download anyways. I'll suggest a donation, but I'm not about to sit here and put a flat price on a digital product that costs me nothing more to reproduce at this point, because I've already recorded it. But if you want the physical copies, if you get a shirt, I'll send it to you for free. If you just want a shirt, or if you just want a CD, or the physical copy, order that, I'll take shipping off, just let me know. I'll remember y'all's faces, y'all beautiful, beautiful faces, and I hope you remember my motherfucking ugly face up here too, and go and order yourself some stuff so I can eat some food when I get home. That would be so cool. Oh boy, it would be cool. But there's a few cool dumpsters uh, that got my back if I need. Um, but I know, oh yeah, that's right, that was about the song. That's what I was talking about at first. And I got really distracted talking about making money and stuff. Uh, um, that's so punk of me, God. Um, so this song called Ingrained Social Reflexes. This is about the foundation, the fundamental aspect of our social being. And uh, it's about cognitive dissonance. And it's about how sometimes we take things at face value. We take things at the level that we accept them based on what we know and what we learn. And shun other things out and shun foreign ideas that don't really directly concur with what we already believe. And it's really, really hard to get over that. And a lot of people are like, huh, I'm hella open-minded. Huh. And a lot of them really are. And a lot of people have foundations of those social beings that are a lot more conducive to being open-minded. But some people don't. And even if you do, there's a lot of things left to learn that you should really be consciously aware of and consciousness is the key so this song this song is about keeping aware of that and being together with everybody in the audience you know because i'm up here i'm playing these songs back but real easily i could just pre-record this and then there wouldn't be here and you'd just be listening to the stuff but ask yourself and honestly ask yourself would that be the same if there wasn't a courier if there wasn't somebody up here saying this thing because i'm the you know i'm the person up here with this mic y'all the audience but we're all in this together we're all human beings here so i hope that humanity means something to you and not just humanity of me being here and y'all be in the audience, but the humanity of y'all be in each other too. Like, look at the motherfuckers next to you. I'm sure everyone here doesn't know everyone here. I'm sure it's not 100%. And I know that for a fact because I came here with Eric, and I know he doesn't know a lot of you guys. And I know I don't know a lot of you guys. So, so, I want you guys, don't pay attention as much to me, but gather that energy. Spread that love to each other just as much as myself. Let this be a catalyst for conversation. Leave knowing somebody else, leave knowing each other a little bit. Flex says <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Black. Chase. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for sticking around. Thanks for coming out. I believe Planet Vegeta is up next. Thank you for all the acts that came before me. I'm Milani. I'm the Dungeon Witch. Ah. And thanks to all y'all, because none of this could be possible. I, you know, and like just the same as I was saying, of sitting in your basement and listening to MP3s, I could just as easily be in Ann Arbor, Michigan, sitting in my basement, playing these songs to myself in a mirror and being like, hell yeah, you go. Hell yeah, listen to that MP3. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, I'm looking at some butterflies in my own basement. That's a nice TV. Holy shit, I'm lonely. But you know what, I'm not doing that. I'm here with y'all and it means a lot, and I hope it means a lot to you guys. Stick around for the X till you come. Thank you again for the DA, thanks to Manny, thanks to Justin, thanks to everybody else who has put any iota of energy into this.